Uh, Bortle here at the Tulsa, Oklahoma Regional with, whoa, please introduce yourself to the world, man. Uh, I'm Edgar El Ortiz. Um, I'm from Tulsa, and today I got eighth place at the eighth Tulsa place? Regional. What deck, bro? I'm playing the best deck, Pendulum. Pendulum's best deck? Yes, sir. My goodness. Uh, any type of variant, you just want to wait and show us the good? Um, you'll see the good. Okay, okay. Any shout outs before we begin? Hey, uh, shout out to Luke Sacos, my guy. He helped me with the deck list. Uh, shout out to R Roberto. Uh, we tested at his house last night. Um, shout out to John Ashby, my homie. Shout out to Foster. Shout out to Hunter. Okay, that's what's up. Well, without further ado, please show us the pin goo. All right. So, start off with uh, best normal summon in the deck. Literally won me two games just what? because. Mumbuku. Mumbuku. Um, Mumbuku, the reason it's the best normal summon is because you can't target. Yep. So, whenever you have an Ibli, your opponent gives you an Ibli and you're going second. Normal summon Mumbuku. Okay. Uh, and now they're gonna attempt to use something on it, one of their face downs. Uh, well, they can't be targeted. So now yeah. you have information on the stuff that they're trying to do. Same thing with Valor and Imperm if you're going first. Um, second normal summon, the worst of the two, uh, Skulker Bat. Okay. Uh, Skulker Bat's okay. It adds you Revolution Dragon, which adds you any, uh, adds you Luster or Master, which are broken. Yeah. Um, only thing that really sucks is that you have very limited amount of low scales in this deck. Um, so getting this, getting Revolution Dragon, discard Revolution Dragon, add Master Pendulum, which is scale three, yeah. is really important sometimes if you draw all high scales. Okay. So that's it with the normal summons. We got here, uh, draw and search, uh, double desires. I have three ultis. They put it back to two. Yeah. Why the fuck? Hey. Um, uh, one Denim is charge. I'm playing because I can side it. Pretty much. Okay. Um, but it's nice to draw because it just gets you back a free card from the extra deck at any point in time. Uh, the one Rhoda, Collector Wear. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Rhoda searches you your best card, Ignis Phoenix. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right. All right now we're going to go uh, with the best card in the deck. Three Revolution Dragon. Revolution Dragon's absolutely broken. Um, something that I did a lot is, well, the thing you're supposed to do for your combo is you're going to summon... Ignis to Prominence, yeah. effect to special. Uh, you can link those two off, and then you can go Revolution Dragon effect, special summon it from the grave, and you get an additional effect of each. Um, one thing that I did as well during my fifth match is I active, uh, special summoned out Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, best, like this card won me my last match in time. Oh my. Card's crazy. Um, what you can do is you can go Scarlet, effect, Wipe the field. You're burning your opponent 500 for each card, which you're destroying, including your own. Um, and then if you have a Revolution Dragon effect, you can link this off, Revolution Dragon, bring it back. And it's not a once per turn. So you Jeez. can just use it again. Ridiculous. Um, Astrograph. Astrograph plus Revolution Dragon is just insane. You just get to have so much... Um, card advantage. You get to add one, Revolution Dragon, special summon one. So you're getting like plus three off of having an Astrograph. Jeez. And we're gonna go on to the main uh, Draco package. Uh, three Ignis. Ignis, honestly, the worst one. <laughs> um, you destroy it, and that's really cool. Yeah. But most of the time, it's like, okay, I'd rather have literally anything else. But you play it because it's still a name. All right. Um, the best one, the, the game winner, literally best card in like the deck, besides Revolution Dragon. Yeah. Um, this, this um, adds you any Draco Slayer from deck to hand, except for the other one that's in your scale, and its monster effect just adds you any field spell in the game, okay. which is like okay, it's crazy. Like I'm citing four field spells here. All super versatile and able to be played against a whole bunch of different matchups. Okay. Uh, power load, uh, crazy extender to have in scale. Sometimes you just don't want to use this until um, you're going on to later. If you get in a beard and you have this plus some um, uh, Majesty Maiden in scale, you can do a lot of crazy combos with that. Right. Uh, now on to the old Draco Slayers. Luster, my boy. Uh, only thing that sucks about him is the fact you can't summon non-Draco Slayers with them. Oh, yeah. 
which like sucks sometimes, but you can just link them off. Okay. Uh, and then two Master Pendulum. Uh, he's the worst name by far. You add a, you have him in the deck because you need low skills desperately. Uh. Um, I like. I'm playing. A lot of people are playing one because it is a brick. I'm playing two because I like uh, having it off of Luster. You can go pop, send it to the extra deck, add another one, and that just really helps you with your combos. Okay. I, I assume you're not going to pendulum summon uh, Bumbuku with this guy, right? Oh no. Uh. You don't really pendulum summon Bumbuku out. It's more if I have Bumbuku, uh, just normal summon, add Majesty Maiden. Oh, gotcha. Um, I played a pretty big magician package compared to most people. Uh, I've seen a lot of people just play one purple poison. I think that's stupid and dumb. Purple poison is broken as fuck. Oh, man. Uh, purple poison can be destroyed off of this guy, this guy, your own Ignister, and Skyrus. You have, at the very minimum, four ways to pop your purple poison in scale, which gives you an additional pop. Which is crazy. I've outed, I outed Mystic Mine. Um, I outed uh, Necro Valley. I've, I outed a whole bunch of cards. Broken. Um, that's it for the pen Magicians. And we're going to go on to the more basic stuff. I'm playing two Fenrir. Card's good. Okay. It, it's better pink tops. Uh. You add it, add itself. Use it, the other one for discard fodder. It's pretty nice. All right. Um, along with that, three talents. Oh, wow. Honestly, I didn't get a chance. Like, no one's playing hand traps right now. The only chance I ever got to play uh, use talents was with Merly, and that was always really nice. Yeah. But whenever they did that, I just drew two, because it kind of advantages everything in Pendulum. Mm -hmm. um, the two main deck field spells, Skyrus, Necro Valley. Uh, honestly, I think I'm going to search for Skyrus two times. That's because I had Necro Valley in the hands. Uh, um, Necro Valley game one. Uh, when do game one? Uh, there was like, I played five tier players. Yeah, Every single lot. time I activated Necro Valley, I won that game. Oh, jeez. Uh, I had one guy who drew Heartbeat, managed to out it, uh, and then I said, okay, this is game two. I cited in another one. <laughs> uh, and last card, Scythe. It's Scythe. Oh, wow. No reason not to play it. It's broken. That's oh, sweet. All right, now for the extra deck. Yeah. Um, your Synchros, two Prominence, one Scarlight, one Savage. Um, Scarlight is just time. Yeah. Savage, you can only summon off of Harmonizing and a card that you have uh, summoned off of Ignis Phoenix because it is now treated as a tuner and has zero restrictions. So I would do that a lot after I had already Pendulum summoned and comboed. Uh, if I had Skyrus in hand, I would go skill, activate Skyrus uh, effect, destroy my Ignis Phoenix, special summon one, it's now a tuner. Um, and by this point, I already have a board established, so I can just go with an additional level four into Borload Savage, uh, which additional negation is always fun. Okay, pretty broken. Um, now I got Majesty Maiden. Oh wow. Uh, this card's crazy, I love this card. Um, you only ever go into the combo, but when you do, it feels nice. The end phase add is always broken. Uh, you can add a Revolution Dragon, you can add an Astrograph. It's really nice. Uh, uh, tire Tapir. Yeah. It's good. Uh, I don't think I ever went into it, because I had real no... I didn't play against any Rogue today. If I went against Rogue, I would just summon this with Anopolosa with four. Oh, wow. Um, and like a Necro Valley, and I don't think that, that can be played around. <laughs> uh, Dweller. Uh, Dweller's quite crazy. Um, you have a combo in which you go into Intis, um, using um, a Majesty Maiden and an Ignister, because you can hard summon it using a, a Seize and Synchro. Oh, you would hard summon this, put it under Abyss Dweller, you would have Scythe, Effect, Detach, Effect, Pop Scythe, Special Summon Scythe. Combo. Uh, and there's really nothing your opponent can do to respond to that. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Um, uh, only other Xyz is number 38. You play it because it's a rank eight. Yeah. It's my favorite rank eight. Redirects attacks from Mopalosa. So once your Mopalosa is a zero attack and it's ten, or like 800 attack, if they attempt to attack over it, redirect it. Uh, so now you saved your Mopalosa 
for an additional negate and for when you next turn you pendulum summon, you have three zones from the extra deck. Okay. Um, only other fusion monster, uh, Denimist. Um, this is probably the lead, my least favorite out of the main deck, uh, extra deck Draco Slayers. Just because sometimes it is difficult to go into. Yeah. Um, but when you have Dynamite and you go into this, uh, since this technically tributes for the special summon, uh, Dynamite's trigger effect, uh, effect triggers to add you a uh, Draco Slayer from the extra deck to your hand. Mm. Uh, and that's really important for the uh, Intis combo, because Intis summons one from hand as well. Okay. Uh, for the Link monsters, I played pretty basic. Beyond, uh, Dagda, Selene, uh, Broken, and Prismatic Opelosa. Oh, yo, how did uh, this one do for you? Um, so, if you if you go into this, this resets all your Ignisters and Dynasters. So, you have now three additional summons if you have two Ignister and a Dynaster on field. Uh, one thing that you can also do is if you don't go into this in your first turn and you have an Opelosa on turn three, it just requires one effect monster. So you can literally just swap this out, go into uh, a Sea Dragon, and then use its effect instantly, which also puts all your materials into the grave, which is really important if you have a Revolution Dragon, because a lot of the time, you're gonna put this under your number 38, and it's stuck there, you can't really detach it. Um, so it's really easy to get uh, put that back, and you can use Revolution Dragon effect. That's it for the extra deck. Uh, now for the side deck. Okay. The four field spells. Uh, I always excited this against tier. This card, this card is broken. Honestly, I want to play three of it. Uh, if I play against uh, Runic Sprite, I would have sided this in. Never got a chance to. Uh, uh, one thing that you do want to do is if you activate this, you're going to be leaving your Selene on field. Um, and when you do that, you're going to add Astrograph to your hand during the end phase. Uh, and so if they manage to destroy your Selene, you get to special summon Astrograph from your hand for free. And okay. they're still under the lock. Uh, Zombie World for Flunder. Uh, didn't play against Flunder. Mine, um, good card, never got it. All right. Um, back row removal. Um, this card's broken. I don't know why it's legal. <laughs> yeah. um, Cosmic Cyclone, if I was playing against Anti Spell. Three Storm. Um, Storm's okay. I don't like it with Ibli. But if I'm playing against something that's not Ibli, I just want to use this. Yeah. Uh, three evenly matched. Uh, it's my favorite go second go going second card. I think that evenly matched, pretty nice. Yeah. Um, I, I last minute couldn't find anything else to put in the side deck, so I just put two D barrier. Because apparently I didn't have any uh, go first cards. For the mirror match, nice. I mean, not only the mirror match, it's, it's broken. I like D barrier. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Well, hey man, congrats on getting top eight with Draco Slayers. It's pretty nice. Post Darkwing Blast. Sweet, and uh, thanks for the profile, man. Right. Thank you. Yeah, and listeners, if you're not part of Bordel Nation, suffer Bordel. It's that easy and free. Oh, God, yes. Yes, sir. That's going to be it. Bordel out.